Hi everyone. In this video, I will show you how to archive the projects in order to transfer it to someone else, maybe if you want to send it by email or in any way. Uh, so, in the usual case, when you create a project, there will be a lot of files uh, created in your system. And then later on, if you want to transfer the project to someone else, it would be a mess if you want to keep track of all the files which you, which you want to uh, transfer to that person. So here instead we have another option of archiving the project and later on extracting it. I want to do it for this project that I already have here. I have created it, this project for one of the videos, uh, the one in which I'm talking about the implicit variables in this FC. So if you click on the file menu, you will see the, you will see the project archive. And here you can select the save or send archive. If you select it, you will see this window here. Uh, you can select all of the options here, all of the things that we have here, and then uh, you can provide also comments or some. you can add some additional files as well. In the comment, for example, I would like to write in this project the implicit variables in the XFC are import. Whatever you like. Yeah? And then save it. By pressing on the save, you will uh, need to determine the location in which you want to save. I will keep it here in the Cadiz's projects folder. And you need to determine a name. I will keep the name as well, like this. And then save. If you press on the save, you will see that it takes a little bit of time. So everything will be uh, archived within uh, one file, let's see, which is the the Cadiz's archive file. I may also show you how does it look like here as well. So after I archived it, this Cadiz's project 40, 45 appears in the list of my files and the type is Xsoft Cadiz's 3 project archive. Then you can send this, uh, this file, you can transfer it to anyone you want. Or later on you can you can just go through the similar process and extract the archive. If you go through the extract archive, you will see the archived project here. And then you can just click on open. You will see the, uh, where to extract the files actually. You can determine different locations and then afterwards you will, you will have the, the option of determining which items you want to uh, extract. And you also can see the comments which is provided within the archive as well. So here you have the option of determining the location or you, you have the option of se selecting to extract into the same folder where the archive is located. If I do it, then the system will try to replace whatever I already have and give me this. Okay, so I'm not going to extract it or maybe let, let's, yeah, let's create a temporary folder. In my documents, I make Kansas project 45 folder. Kansas project 45, click on OK, and then press on extract. Let's wait for Kansas to extract everything. It already exists. Do you, do you want to overwrite it? No, let's keep it. No, let's apply it for everything. Now the the project, the archive is being uh, extracted to the location that I have uh, determined. And after all, afterwards, the project will be available for us. So in this way, you can. Uh, export the projects that you have developed or you can import the projects that someone else has developed or the ones that you already have developed and kept in your archive. Uh, let's just wait for the extraction to be completed.
All right, so here we go. We have the main pro main program, which has whatever we expect to have, expected to have, and here we have the visualization as well. We are in the simulation mode already. We can try to log in. And run the code. Let's see if we see any errors. No, nothing. Okay, yeah. And you see that it works perfectly. So you, you see how to how to export the projects and how to import the projects in this way. I hope this would be helpful for you. Uh, please don't forget to share the video if you think that it will be useful for someone else as well. Thank you for watching and see you next time.